Whenever we talk about cool things that have been found, we tend to focus on classic discoveries made by the likes of Christopher Columbus. But new things are being found all the time. These are the 20 most incredible recent discoveries. Number 20. A Shipwreck in Latvia You'd think you'd notice a 40-foot-long shipwreck on a beach long before now, wouldn't you? Well, it took until 2021 for people to realize that lying casually on a Latvian beach was a 40-foot-long ship that might be a 200-year-old Royal Navy warship. Of course, it wasn't just lying out in the open, though. Some exposed beams were spotted on Daugagriva Beach, mere miles from the capital city of Riga, and that sparked researchers' curiosity. When excavators arrived, they got to work removing a 36-foot by 13-foot blanket of sand that had entombed the ship for around two centuries. That was when they realized it was no small boat, but rather a massive 40-foot vessel. Going by the presence of copper nails, experts believe it might have once had a copper-plated hull, which was technology first used by the Royal Navy. It was also built from oak, which was quite a popular material for shipbuilding in Britain until around the middle of the 1800s. Some Latvian heritage chiefs provided initial estimates of 150 to 200 years old. If it had been copper-plated, as they believe, it was likely that it was once a warship or a merchant ship designed for long voyages. Even though the copper plates were long gone, leaving the wooden beams exposed, they were actually pretty well preserved. Like this video, smash the subscribe button and click the notification bell right now or this centipede will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. Now it's time for the odd topic. Scientists discovered a 3 million year old cave and found something incredible inside. But they didn't even notice it at first. They snapped this shot while exploring and then went home. Only later, when looking at the photo, did they notice that there was something curious loitering in the shadows. Look at this thing. What is it? What do you think? As always, let us know your thoughts in the comment section down below using the hashtag oddtopic. Number 19. A Dinosaur in Chile Finding dinosaur fossils is pretty exciting, but we've now gotten such a massive collection throughout the world that no one generally jumps for joy or is all that shocked when they hear the news. But when dinosaur bones were found in Chile, there was plenty for researchers and the general public to be excited about. It was a never-before-seen dinosaur, and quite an exciting one at that. Paleontologists from the University of Texas were exploring Rio Las Chinas in the far south of Chile in 2018, looking for fossil hotspots and dating rocks. The conditions were extremely challenging, and many in the team came close to experiencing hypothermia. Someone broke a rib, and another person sprained their ankle. But it was all worth it when they found an almost complete ankylosaur. The dinosaur had about 80% of its skeleton, scraps of its skull, vertebrae, shoulders, forelimbs, and more. From these bones, the paleontologists determined that the dinosaur would have been about six feet long with an unusually large head and short tail, thin legs, and seven pairs of bony osteoderms that basically give it a weaponized club tail. This dinosaur seemed to have evolved differently from ankylosaurs found further north, which didn't have tail clubs. It's believed that these tails may have had sharp keratin sheaths and would have felt like being hit with a battle axe. Number 18. Earliest Hominid in Chad In 2001, anthropologists boldly claimed that they had found the earliest hominid ever discovered in Chad's Sahel region. Around a decade later, in 2012, other expert anthropologists agreed that the 7 million year old hominid was the oldest, while others thought it was just an ancient ape. Originally, they had found six supposed hominid specimens in northern Chad in the Jarab Desert, which included an almost complete but distorted skull. This skull had a jaw and teeth that displayed quite hominid traits and a flat face that was more human than ape. The canine tooth tips were also worn down, as they were in early humans. Experts also noticed that the hole in the base of the skull for the spinal cord to run through was more forward than that of a chimp and was erect. This point was extra meaningful because it meant that the hominid would have walked on two legs. So what does this discovery actually mean? Well, based on the fossils in the area, researchers concluded that if it was a hominid, it lived in a wooded environment near a lake about 7 million years ago. That time frame might imply that we split from chimps way earlier than we previously concluded. Number 17. Women Ruled in Spain 
Hey ladies, listen up. I know you probably don't feel like you're all that powerful in some parts of the world right now, but would it help if I told you that women were likely among the rulers of a region in Spain during the Bronze Age? About a dozen researchers have been exploring a site in Murcia, southern Spain since around 2013, and it's here they found lavish graves that pointed toward women being rulers of flourishing societies on the Iberian Peninsula. The site is known as La Almaloya, and it was home to a society called El Argar that used bronze to make complex urban centers. It spanned a vast area of about 13,500 square miles and was a highly regarded state organization. One of the most incredible finds in this site was a man and woman buried in a ceramic jar who died together in the mid-17th century BC. Rather than having much of the decorations directed toward the man, as would have been the case in other ancient civilizations, pretty much all of the 29 valuable objects belonged to her. There were bracelets, rings, a diadem, and around 230 grams of silver. Similar discoveries have also been made where women were buried with precious goods in the same places as elite warriors. Interestingly, researchers found that in the small settlements of up to 100 people, women seemed to hold quite an integral role in politics. Whenever a woman ruler died, the whole settlement tended to be burned down. It appears that all El Argar settlements were abandoned by the 16th century BC. Number 16. Colonial Coinage Colonial coinage is money from British American colonies dating back to around 1652. It existed before the Federal Mint and came to exist when early colonists needed something more refined for their commerce than barter. Before this time, coinage wasn't necessary because much of the trade was performed with Native Americans who had no use for coins. Instead, they preferred trading resources like fur, tobacco, and white-shelled beads. Before the Mint Act of 1792, businesses had transitioned to using tokens, medals, coins, and counterfeits. They were made with homemade dyes, and no two coins were the same. English authorities eventually banned colonial coinage, but the Massachusetts General Court decided to do their own thing anyway, and silversmiths were commissioned to produce coins. Their controversy makes these coins incredibly valuable today, and even more so since each coin tells a different story and was likely created in a different way. In late November 2021, a silver one-shilling coin from 1652 minted in Colonial Boston sold for over $350,000. There were just 40 like it known to exist. This coin in particular was found in a candy tin owned by the family of a New England settler. Number 15. A massive swordfish. We have plenty of terrifying marine creatures lurking in the ocean that we hope to never encounter, but you'll be pleased to know that this one is extinct. In 2021, scientists found a huge marine ichthyosaur species with prey-crushing teeth that looked similar to a swordfish. The partial skull of this marine creature was actually found back in the 1970s in Colombia, but it was incorrectly labeled as a different species. The fossil was reanalyzed quite recently, which is when McGill University doctoral candidate Durley Quartz realized the mistake. The swordfish-like creature had a one-meter-long skull and dated back to the Cretaceous period, about 130 to 115 million years ago. While many other ichthyosaur species had small teeth for small prey, this one was different. The tooth sizing was different, as was the pacing, which allowed it to consume much larger prey. According to Durley, the teeth would have enabled it to grab, puncture, saw, and crush large prey like marine reptiles and giant fish. Its long snout would have been about 16.4 feet long, and its jaw would have opened to a 75-degree angle. So basically, it's a marine creature of your nightmares, and it's hard not to be relieved that it died out long ago. Number 14. A Mummy in Peru in 2021, an amazing discovery was made beneath the town square of Cajamarquilla, just outside the city limits of Lima in Peru. 800-year-old mummy. The young adult, thought to be a man between 25 and 30 years old, was found in an oval-shaped tomb bound with cloth with his hands over his face. His limbs were also tied together, as is standard in Andean region funerary practices. Archaeologists actually just stumbled across this tomb while excavating the area, and the team was pleased with their find. They said they 
they didn't expect to make such an important discovery and that they hoped that studying the tomb would help them learn more about the indigenous communities living along the coastline of Peru before the Inca Empire's rise to prominence in 1400 CE. The mummy might also point them in the direction of learning more about relationships and interactions in pre-Hispanic times before the region was invaded in the 16th century by the Spaniards. They believe he might have been a traitor who moved to Cajamarquia from the mountains. The location of the tomb, the seven steps leading to it, and offerings of mollusks and bones indicate that they may have held quite an important position in the community. Number 13. Aztec Altar in Mexico City the National Institute for Anthropology and History in Mexico made quite an exciting announcement in late 2021. Archaeologists had uncovered an Aztec altar near the square in Mexico City, Plaza Garibaldi, that dated all the way back to the 16th century. The altar would have been built after the Spanish conquest of Tenochtitlan, the Aztec capital. It was in a courtyard in an Aztec family's home, and the presence of a pot of human ashes meant it was likely used to honor the dead. The home's occupants would have held rituals in the altar to bear witness to the end of their life cycle and the end of their civilization as well. According to archaeologist Maria Vacera, the altar was located under many layers of adobe mud about 13 feet below the ground. It's likely that its location was intentional so that they could hide it from Spanish conquistadors. Surrounding the altar was a house consisting of a large room, a corridor, and five small rooms. Alongside the pot of human ashes, they also found over a dozen decorated incense burners during their three-month exploratory period. Number 12. A Rare Roman Mosaic in the UK Many of us achieved quite a lot during the various lockdowns caused by the COVID-19 pandemic. After all, there was nothing much else to do than work on those things that we put on the back burner for so long. But how many people can say that their lockdown activities resulted in them finding what is now being described as one of the most remarkable and significant finds in British history? In 2021, a family in Rutland was exploring the fields around their rural property when they stumbled across a Roman villa complex with a rare mosaic of Homer's The Iliad. The mosaic is the only discovered example in the UK depicting that poem and just a handful across the whole of Europe. Jim Irvine, the son of the landowner, had found some unusual pottery in his wheat and decided to do some extra investigative work. When he looked at satellite imagery, he saw clear crop marks, and that's when he started to explore the area in earnest. The mosaic piece, measuring about 11 meters by 7 meters, or 36 feet by 23 feet, would have been the floor of an entertaining or dining area, and it was surrounded by what would have been a bathhouse and barns. There was also rubble covering the mosaic, along with human remains. As you might expect, the mosaic is now protected on the advice of Historic England by the Department for Digital Culture, Media, and Sports. Number 11. A Surprise Rembrandt in Italy Art is one of those magical things you can hang in your home and enjoy and never actually know its true value. You like it, it suits your home, and that's enough for you. But imagine owning rare art for many years and never knowing. A Rembrandt canvas painting, The Adoration of the Magi, which was painted in 1632 or 1633, was discovered by complete accident. It had long been considered lost, but that all changed in 2021. The painting, which depicted three wise men visiting baby Jesus, was owned by a Roman family. It had fallen off their wall, and they had sent it to restore Antonella di Francesco to be fixed. Antonello was no stranger to famous artists, and he wondered whether the canvas might have been a Rembrandt piece. Soon enough, the French Academy of the Villa Medici in Rome confirmed it. The 21.3-inch by 17.5-inch canvas was declared an original, and it even had rare painting techniques that Dutch masters used in the 1630s. Rather than sell it, the family who owned it decided to lend it to galleries and museums. Number 10. An Ancient City you might assume that nothing can top the discovery of the tomb of Tutankhamun, but ancient Egypt is full of secrets. In 2021, archaeologists announced that they had found the largest ever discovered ancient city in Egypt, dating back around 3,000 years. The city is named the Rise of Aden, and it was found on Luxor's western bank under the sand. According to lead archaeologist Zahi Hawass, it dates back to around the time that King Amenhotep III reigned, which was 1391 to 1353 BCE. Zahi also said that it was the largest industrial and administrative settlement of the era, and to be fair, the proof of that is in what they found. 
After uncovering the city, they found houses with intact walls as tall as 10 feet and rooms filled with items the occupants would have used every day. They discovered tools, pottery vessels, meat-carrying pots, rings, and equipment for glass-making, metal-making, spinning, and weaving. It was almost as if the people had just up and left. One of the more incredible discoveries was a bakery complete with storage pottery and an oven, as well as a skeleton with rope wrapped around its knees. Archaeologists noted that it was a rather odd location and position. It's not known why the city was abandoned, but it's believed that the capital was moved 250 miles north to Amarna, with this city left entirely empty. Number 9. Cave Art in Indonesia There have been some incredible limestone cave and cave art discoveries made in Sulawesi, Indonesia, but one of the more recent ones in 2019 is undoubtedly one of the most exciting and enlightening. The art within a cave in Indonesia supposedly dates back around 44,000 years, which would make it the oldest human-created rock art discovered so far. But that wasn't even the most exciting part. The rock art itself was unreal. One of the art pieces showed a group of figures that appear to be half-animal, half-human hybrids known as therianthropes. They were hunting dwarf buffaloes and warty pigs with spears and and ropes. The art shows quite a clear story, and archaeologists believe that this rock art is proof that our early human cognition was probably a lot more advanced than we knew. Study author Maxime Aubert said that even though this artwork is 44,000 years old, it has many critical components of our modern cognition, like religious thinking, figurative art, hand stencils, and storytelling. Our research shows that humans arrived in Southeast Asia up to 70,000 years ago, so there's still time for us to discover much older cave art. Number 8. A Gold Mask in Southwest China in the 1920s, a farmer stumbled across an archaeological site outside Chengdu in southwest China. The 4.6-mile site, called Sanxingdi, is now a hotspot for archaeologists who have spent decades uncovering thousands of ancient artifacts. One of the more exciting and recent ones is a gold mask that dates back over 3,000 years. It was discovered in a pit in 2021 along with 500 items like a jade knife, bronze figurines, ivory relics, and ceremonial vessels. The mask weighed about 100 grams or 0.22 pounds and is believed to have formed part of a larger bronze head rather than being a standalone gold mask. Sanxing Dui is like the gift that keeps on giving. Archaeologists made a breakthrough at the site in the 1980s when they discovered two ceremonial pits with over a thousand items, like bronze masks and other well-preserved relics. In late 2019, a third pit was found and five more in 2020. Then, in March of 2021, they discovered another 500 items in a cache, including that gold mask. Experts think the pits might have been used for sacrificial reasons, since some of the objects seem to have been buried only after being ritually burned. Number 7. Blue Beads in Alaska if you were to stumble across some old blue beads, you'd probably think someone's just lost them from their jewelry. But when archaeologists working in northern Alaska found three cerulean blue beads at the famous archaeological site Punyuk Point, they knew they had found something special. Punyuk Point was on an ancient trade route from the Arctic Ocean to the Bering Sea, and archaeologists found the blueberry-sized beads and some plant matter in 2004 and 2005. Thanks to the plant matter, they were able to use accelerator mass spectrometry carbon dating to determine how old they were. Archaeologist Mike Coons was shocked by the results. The plant was alive during the 1400s, and they believe the beads came from Venice, Italy, and were in Alaska between 1440 and 1480. To put that into perspective, Christopher Columbus didn't even arrive in the Bahamas until 1492. How the beads got there remains a mystery, but archaeologists have their theories. They think the beads could have been taken from Venice along the Silk Road toward China before arriving in Russia's Far East. A trader might have then taken the beads across the Bering Strait to the ancient trading center of Shashalik before they ended up in their final destination of Punyuk Point. Number 6. Dead Sea Scroll Fragments in Israel Archaeologists working in the Judean desert in Israel in 2021 truly did hit the big time when they found dozens of fragments of a Dead Sea Scroll containing biblical text. The scroll fragments had verses written in Greek from the books of the prophets Zechariah and Nahum. 
It's been at least six decades since the first pieces of the Dead Sea Scroll were found in a cave where, 1900 years ago, Jewish rebels had hidden from the Roman Empire. Archaeologists had returned to the caves and cliffs of the desert in 2017 to prevent the looting of antiquities as part of a national operation. Alongside the scroll fragments, archaeologists also found a child skeleton dating back about 6,000 years, a 10,500-year-old basket, and rare coins. The basket is believed to be the oldest in the world. Number 5. Knife-Wielding Spider God Mural in Peru It's hard to know what our ancient ancestors were thinking when they carved artwork into the landscape. Sure, some of the pictures were pretty self-explanatory, like men working or playing instruments and maybe the odd animal drawing or two. But this is something… Uh, altogether different. Archaeologists found a mural of a knife-wielding spider god and an ancient temple complex around 300 miles north of Lima in the Viru province of Peru, and it's believed to be around 3,200 years old. The spider god mural was as impressive and as vibrant as ancient drawings get. It was painted in a range of vibrant colors like white, yellow, gray, and ochre, and it had been drawn on the side of an adobe structure formed with mud bricks. And it was actually found by complete accident, which unfortunately meant that some of the site had been destroyed. Avocado and sugarcane farmers used heavy machinery to plow new fields when they found it. By the time they realized what they had found, 60% of the site was destroyed. Archaeologists think that the temple was probably dedicated to water deities because the site is near a river. It might have even been a ceremonial center thousands of years ago, and the spider was an important animal in pre-Hispanic culture. Number 4. A 2,000-year-old marble head in Italy Archaeologist Francesco Giancola was monitoring a medieval wall's restoration in Isernia Molise, Italy after it had collapsed in heavy rain in 2013. As they dug behind the wall, Francesco noticed how the dirt changed color. That's when they uncovered a 2,000-year-old marble head of Rome's first emperor, Augustus. Augustus ruled from 27 BC until his death in 14 AD, and to say finding his head was a surprise is an understatement. The archaeologists and restoration team were shocked, although where the body got to is anyone's guess, because they only found the head. They used precision trowels to uncover the block of marble, and that was when Francesco realized that they were dealing with Augustus's head. He said he recognized the thick strands of hair within the swallowtail hairstyle. Restoration work paused while Francesco notified authorities. After a bit of research and investigation, it was revealed that the head was under 14 inches tall and dated back to 20 BC to 10 AD. The entire statue was likely about 6 feet 7 inches tall. Number 3. 1,000-year-old medieval grave in Finland in 1968, at a site called Suontaka in southern Finland, archaeologists discovered a grave dating back to between 1050 and 1300. The grave contained a mostly decomposed human skeleton with some interesting artifacts. Within it was jewelry associated with women, but two swords associated with men, one of which had a bronze hilt. For many decades, people believed the grave might have belonged to a woman warrior. However, in 2021, researchers thought there was enough evidence to suggest they were biologically male but were highly respected with a non-traditional gender. Analysis of a small amount of nuclear DNA from the leg bone was carried out to determine that the individual had an extra X chromosome. In present-day males with this condition, symptoms can include enlarged breasts, a lack of facial and body hair, low testosterone, and some language and learning problems. The combination of male and female objects in the grave plus the genetic evidence make researchers believe the individual was non-binary. Number 2. An Insect in a Van Gogh Painting Vincent Van Gogh wrote a letter to his brother in 1885 that said, I must have picked up a good hundred flies and more off the four canvases you'll be getting, not to mention the dust and sand. Vincent was known to paint outside, so it's perhaps not surprising that we've seen evidence of bugs in his paintings. In 2017, Mary Schaefer, a Nelson Atkins conservator, discovered a grasshopper in the olive trees painting he created around 130 years ago. 
The bug was embedded into the thick paint in the foreground and was only visible when the artwork was examined under a microscope. According to a paleoentomologist, the abdomen and thorax of the grasshopper were missing, and there didn't appear to be any movement in the paint. Therefore, it seems as if it were dead before it ended up on the canvas. And that was just the beginning. Since then, we've also found the trail of an unknown bug in another of his works called Olive Grove. You can see its desperate escape attempts in the blue and green brushstrokes, but there's no evidence of the bug itself. It either escaped, was removed by Vincent, or it ended up painted into the artwork somewhere like the grasshopper was. Other materials were also found embedded in this particular piece, such as a blade of grass, sand particles, and a seed. I'm gonna take a stab in the dark here and say he definitely painted this one outside. Number 1. A 4,500-year-old sun temple in Egypt in late 2021, archaeologists found one of the lost sun temples in Egypt, which dated back to the mid-25th century BCE. In 2021, archaeologists found one of the lost sun temples in Egypt, which dated back to the mid-25th century BCE. The remains were actually found underneath another temple 12 miles from Cairo in Abu Ghraib. Interestingly, archaeologists were working at that same site in 1898 and found the sun temple of Nusera. the sixth king of the 5th dynasty who ruled between 2400 and 2370 BCE. More recently, we've now found out that this sun temple was built on top of another sun temple. According to mission co-director Massimiliano Nuzzolo, the 19th century archaeologists only excavated a small portion of the mud brick building situated underneath the temple of New Seda. They just thought it was a building phase of the same temple, but now that we've taken the time to explore it further, we know that it's an entirely different building established before that sun temple. I don't know about you, but I was sure we were getting to the end of the crazy, shocking, and incredible discoveries. But we just keep unearthing even more. Which of these discoveries shocked you the most? And have you ever found anything amazing or unexpected in your adventures? Also, check out our other cool stuff showing up on screen right now. See you next time!